Okay, morning everybody. So, as you can see, we are back at the workshop. We've got a lot of like motors and like stators and transformers to process today. And so I'm gonna bring you along for that. We are gonna hopefully get all of this done today. It shouldn't take me very long. It's only like, I think like 40 kilos of motors and transformers. I should be able to do that in like two hours maybe. So um, yeah, that's pretty good. And so, yeah, we've got some stuff that is really not going to be too hard, at least I don't hope so. Uh, but I guess we'll see about that. And I'm, I'm going to bring you along for that, uh, show you how I do this kind of stuff. We're probably also going to do some time lapses and all that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to be fun. And I hope you enjoyed it. So, I guess we'll just start. Okay, so I've decided to do this time lapse part first, and we are going to take apart these motors now. And um, let me quickly just go through what's on this table here. We've got one of these little uh, motors that maybe, probably come out of like a dishwasher. Um, these two probably as well, but I think they do different things inside a dishwasher. I don't know, I, I've not really ever serviced a dishwasher or looked inside of one. Um, I only get these motors, so, you know, I can only like assume where they might have come from. But I think that's pretty accurate and it doesn't really matter because we're going to just take them apart. Um, should be pretty easy, they usually are basically the same thing over and over again. Um, you've got two pieces of either like, you know, like right here where it's cast aluminum, or like over here where it's just two pieces of steel, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it's basically the same thing. You just unscrew it, you take the core out and you've got your stator, which you then have to for the process. It's a little bit different with um, what I've got over here, that's a pump. A pump that is usually like used in households, whatever, water supply or something like that. Um, I've seen this actually in my house, um, like kind of put in front of the water heater, so it does something in regards to that. As I said, I, I, I don't really know what it does, I just know how to take it apart. So um, this one's actually a very nice one because this is a cast bronze i think I'm, I'm gonna have to sell it as brass because my yard doesn't buy bronze but um that's very very nice so we are gonna make a good amount of money on this um anyways but i've also got a lot more of these that does that don't have this brass top on them um and i'm just gonna scrap this which this is basically very similar to this over here um there's just a stator inside of this this whole thing is cast aluminum um i'm just smashing that up with a hammer getting the stator out and then further processing the stator so um yeah we are gonna get on with that now we're gonna unscrew everything like that and also on the other um thingies right there and yeah you're gonna see that in time lapse so here we go
Okay, so I'm done unscrewing all of that stuff and we are now going to process these little like green pump thingies that you've seen before, you know, these. And uh, this is so easy, I'm going to show you how it goes. Um, it's very hard to get these up because they are kind of like forced into that, like pressed into that, the stator that is in here. Which then kind of looks like that, so just a miniature stator. Um, very small little cute ones, but yeah, very easy to process. Um, this thing, it's got gaps up here and down here, and as this is cast aluminum, you can legit just smash it and it just comes apart. I'm gonna show you that in one second, but I'm gonna put you into time lapse for that because I have to do that to quite a few of these, and yeah, it's just gonna take it some time, so I won't bore you with that, and you can just relax and watch some time lapse footage. So, here we go, let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, we are done cracking all the little stators open, uh, like, I mean, basically motors. It's only until now that they are actually stators, because it's only this part that you would actually call a stator. Um, the things we had before were technically still motors, I guess. Um, but you could see we, we also removed all the cast aluminum from uh, the bigger stators over there, so we can start scrapping these in a minute as well. And yeah, that went pretty well. We've got a good bit of cast aluminum and we should get a good bit of money out of that as well. You know, cast aluminum is obviously not like worth a ton, but um, it's at least something. And even though it's not worth a ton, I'm still collecting it because it all adds up. So, uh, we are going to start with scrapping down these stators and we should be done in like about an hour, which is nice because I'm getting kind of cold again and also hungry. So, um, yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so now that we've got all the aluminum cleared off of our stators, we're gonna start to break these stators down. And we are gonna do that with the air hammer, as I did that before, but you've never really seen that, so I'm just gonna try to put it into time lapse again. Last time that didn't really work so well, uh, because the vibration somehow, I think, turned off uh, the video. I said in the video that I thought my battery was empty, but I put it on the charger and it didn't really show that it was empty. Uh, yeah, so we'll just see how it goes. I hope that it works this time. 
Um, but yeah, it's definitely not something very quiet. So I'm gonna try to reduce the volume of the video, but if it's still too loud for you, just turn the volume down a bit. Uh, because the compressor is very loud and the hammer is also not very quiet, let's just put it that way. So um, yeah, we're gonna break these stators down and uh, put, do that in time-lapse mode. So yeah, let's get into time-lapse mode. Okay, so I scrapped all of these staters and we've got this amount of copper there. It's not a whole lot, but you have to take into account that I didn't really work any longer than like, I mean, maybe two or three hours on that. So it's all right. Uh, we've also got this whole bin of steel, which is kind of sort of collecting, uh, which, yeah, I have to scrap that out as well and uh, get rid of that. So, yeah, we're gonna do that and hopefully get some money for that. We also got the cast aluminum, which is over there. Uh, that is gonna be a decent amount, probably like maybe eight kilos. We'll see. And um, yeah, then we've got this copper. So, we'll see how much this weighs now. I've got my handy dandy little scale here. And we'll just take a little look at how much we ended up getting. Okay, looks like 8.5 kilos, or maybe 9, so yeah, that's pretty good, um, I'm definitely happy with that, so that's approximately like, well it kind of depends on the uh, price we're going to get tomorrow, but I hope it's going to be around 50 bucks, we'll see, if it's a little less, it's not too bad. And um, yeah, we'll see how much we can get uh, in general for all of the stuff that we have collected over like the last, the last couple of, well, hours actually only. So <laughs> I guess we can be happy with uh, the result no matter what. Um, but yeah, we are going to see that in a couple of minutes when we get back from the scrapyard and I'm going to show you the ticket and everything. So let's go to the scrapyard. So, alrighty people, we are back from the scrapyard. Yeah, that was actually pretty dang successful. Um, we got way more than I was expecting, actually. Um, you gotta remember, like, I worked, like, legit, like, three hours, and then it took me, like, one hour in total to get the stuff and then to bring it back to the scrapyard. So we are, like, four hours into that, and we got really, really good prices today. I don't know why, because copper prices didn't really move that much, but we got 10 cents more on cast aluminum. As you can see right there, we got 80 cents a kilo. We got 6 euros a kilo on uh, copper, which is burnt copper. And um, we got 20 cents a kilo for our scrap steel. So extremely good prices. I don't know what was up today. But um, as you can see, we only got 7 kilos of cast aluminum. We got like 8 of copper and we got 82 kilos of scrap steel so um yeah that came out to a grand total of 70 bucks which is right here and um i'm very happy with that like that was like legit only half a day of work so i don't know what's up with the prices today but um there's only one thing for me to do and that is to be very happy about the fact that that turned out so well so um yeah i'm very happy and um, i hope you like this video because that's the end of this video be sure to uh, like you know leave a like and also comment something i would be very happy about that and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that would be a very very nice thing as well so um yeah thank you very much for watching and until next time